Okay, I think that thing's on, but it's super far away. This is gonna be a little bit different because uh, I need some help. And I'm gonna ask for your help. But first, you know what we gotta do. We got a good beer. What's this one called? Baby Maker. Baby Maker. Yep, camera's gonna be jacked up. This might be a little dark, whatever. But we gotta get this done. All right, Baby Maker. It's a double IPA. That's gonna be quite a bit for me. It's out of uh, Triple C Brewing in Charlotte, North Carolina. 16 fluid ounces, 8.5 alcohol and 85 IBU. That's an international bitterness something. Guys have been telling me in the comments, I'm not good at this. I just like to drink the beers. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, let's get a good pour. Ice cold beer is not far away. Just gonna sing a stick song so I don't have to do any editing. All right, this is gonna be a one take. Like what you see here, it's what we're going with. We're not professionals. We're just 44 year old dudes trying to have a good time. All right, boom, there it is. Cheers. Man, it is orange. I don't know how well the color's showing up because I had to adjust the white balance on there, but it's got a good head and it's really orange. Yep. That's an IPA. It's a 100% IPA. Man, all I can taste is like that, the IPA taste. Like I'm not getting any other, any other tones. Yeah, I'll look it up afterwards. I'll put a link in the description down below and you can check it out. It's not bad, I can drink it, which I'm surprised. All right, well, let's get down to business. Here's the business. I have bought uh, too many things for an A25, right? Things come out, you wanna get them before they're gone, you pick them up, and then all of a sudden you have more boards than you can ride. So I haven't had an A25 set up in a while, but I just kept buying them and now I need your help. I need your help to pick what my next board is. And that's not just like, ah, oh, pick my next 825 board. Like this is the board I'm gonna ride for the summer. So if we do the video now and you vote on all the different components, I'm gonna offer the, uh, the board, the deck, the trucks, the wheels, the grip, whatever you pick. Like that's what I'm riding on uh, International Go Skateboard Day, June 21st. And that's what I'm gonna ride for the summer. So, hey, if it's in your hands, just leave it in the comments, which components you think uh, we should put together. I can tell you that my ideal setup is in these parts somewhere, and there's a board I want to ride more than anything somewhere in here. It'll be interesting to see if anyone picks it. If anyone picks either like my ideal setup or if anyone picks the board I want to ride right now. So it'll be cool. So let's just get down to it. We'll start with the boards. All right, that's the most important part. We can't pick the trucks. We can't pick the wheels uh, if we don't pick the boards first. So I'll just start over here in this pile. All right, again, all 825s. All right, so we got yellow ply. What is this? What is this first one? It is the rebirth of World Industries. All right, there it is. These are World Industries, along with that uh, Anthony Shetler. Oh, it's upside down. Told you we're not editing. Whoop. Dudes over World Industries, along with uh, Anthony Shetler, who's uh, pressing some of the graphics for him, bringing World Industries back to life. I think it's pretty dope. I'm excited to uh, to skate that one. That's why I bought it. Like I did not skate during this era of skating. This is actually when World Industries was coming out. Was right when I stopped skating. Uh, so. It's kind of like I get to live a small piece of history that I was not around for. So, pretty cool. So, one World Industries board. All right. A little set up there. These are all going to fall down. 
We're not editing. We're not editing. We're just rolling with it. Alright, we'll go to this side. Next. We have, speaking of Anthony Shetler, Purple Stain, A25, Timmy Knuth, All I Need. Check out that graphic. Like, I have a lot of gas mask uh, tattoos, so like this graphic fully spoke to me. Hopefully you can see that well. Super sick. All I need. Lord. I bought this one a while ago, Skate. I have not given it a go yet. And uh, another another solid option for you to choose from. Alright. Now, well, we'll go back to this side. Alright, on this side we have... You guessed it. The one and only... Flight deck, Pal Peralta again, 825. We got the Caballero artwork on there, super sick. It is a flight deck, so it is different than the last two decks, which were wood, two layers of carbon fiber. All right, boom. I think that's fucking, sorry, bad word. This is a rad deck, rad graphic. Check that out, boom. All right. Set that there. Go back to this side. We've got your standard old wood revive. Golden tacos. Golden taco board. I really wanted this board. Love this graphic. I do like revive boards, and surprisingly, the flight deck shape uh, 243 and the standard revive shape, like. They're very similar, so I can switch between those boards, no problem. And I've never had a problem with Revive. I think they're pretty good wood. Always happy with them, always skate them well. So, oh, it's upside down again. There you go, Golden Tacos. It's hard to beat Golden Tacos. Look at that. All right. And then we'll go back to this side over here. Last one on this side. We have the real eye shot. And not only is it the real eye shot, it is the twin tail. Perfectly symmetrical board, same on both sides, no true tail, no true nose. Be super interesting to ride uh, to see if, if I could stay honest with it and just throw it down and just ride it. Uh, man, I don't know. Like, will you naturally pick a side? I've, I saw two dudes skating with this at the park yesterday, and I, I asked them both, did you pick a side, a preference, and each one said yes. Uh, I really want to see if I can skate this without picking a side and having a preference. So you got the eye shot. All right, twin tail, real. Never skated a real deck, so that's interesting. And then, last but not least on the boards, we have a bamboo deck. All right, bamboo deck, it is a braille deck. My boy Mowgli skates for the braille. Uh, he started riding just their boards. He told me that the bamboo is solid, like he likes riding them. So I said I'd give it a go, because that dude's dope, and I like him, and he supports us. Uh, he supports this whole adventure, and I think that's right. So we also have the bamboo, and it's, it's clean. Like, it's a clean graphic. It's a nice looking wood. Uh, never skate anything like it. Some people will hate on Braille and Revive. Man, I just like skateboarding. I don't really care uh, what it comes from as long as it's skateboarding. And they promote skateboarding, so get on them. All right, so what, what are we gonna ride that with? Here's my truck options. All right, let's start with these. We have some lightly used, very lightly. I've only set them up on one board. Some lightly used Reynolds. Indies, 144s, all right, option one. Option two, some uh, Thunder, 148s, whoop, Thunder 148s. Thunder lights, they are uh, hollow kingpin, hollow axle, uh, and yeah, they're light for sure. The Indies, I should mention, Indies are also hollows. So they are hollow kingpin, hollow axle as well. All right, I'm not gonna tell you guys my preference on any of these because I want you 
uh, I want you to pick the board. So like, I'm not wearing any brand shirts. I'm not gonna talk about what I normally ride. Like, this is your call. And then we have some brand new Venture 5.6. Venture 5.6. There you go. Those are the three truck options. Now with those truck options, you can choose right here that I leave those standard bushings in that we go to a bones hard or a bones medium bushing. So those are also choices. All right, so let's talk wheels. All right, here's the wheel choices. We'll start, start in the front. So in the front, really hard wheels. Um, 84B, 56 millimeter uh, Bones uh, skate park formula. All right, so 56 millimeter, 84B, super hard, super white. Hopefully that shows up. Super white. Uh, 56 might sound big for some of you guys. I skate between a 56 and a 54 normally. I'll, I will say that just so you know, like, wow, why has he got 56 millimeter wheels? Yeah, I don't know. That's uh, I skated in the 80s. They were like, they were huge, right? T-bones. I wanted T-bones if I could find them. So getting down to these smaller sizes has been a big growing process for me. All right, so that's the bones. Oh, we got another set of bones here. These are the Bones 100s, uh, original formula, 100A, and these are 54 millimeter. These are black. I should mention that these are a side cut. The first set was a side cut. And this pair is just, uh, I mean, they're rounded on the inside. They're just regular old Bones wheels. So, hopefully I'm not blurring this camera up too bad. But yeah, uh, version four. So, formula four, excuse me, formula version four wide they call them og og formula that's what the package says they are black 5400a all right then we have some another set of 54s 99a these are orbs uh i started buying orbs they're on the welcome website i i have enjoyed them since i started riding them they are on a couple of my boards so super pumped on those these are purple they are a uh, side cut pretty flat on the inside and again, 5499A. There you go. They're a marbly, I don't know if you can see it, marbly purple and white. Uh, some black lettering. All right. And then, last for the wheels, we've got some 53 millimeter orbs. Uh, kind of this, uh, I don't know if it's orange, I don't know if it's red, I don't know if it's pink. That color with some black. These are 53, 99A, durometer, uh, rounded on the inside, not flat like, like the other pair. So, got those orbs as well. All right, and then we got some grip. All right, let's talk about grip. Let me move these boards out of the way. Doo, doo, doo. All right, grip. We got our standard. Black Jessup. Black Jessup, nothing big. Make your vote. We've got some Thrasher Mob. Mob, Thrasher Magazine, see Mob, Thrasher. All right, not a, not a big Thrasher guy, but I do think that's pretty clean grip. And it's got some paint on it, but not so much uh, towards the nose and tail where you're gonna lose, lose that grip you need from uh, graphics on a on the grip it's falling but again we're not editing we're just rolling with it we'll just set that there all right then we've got some clear some clear jessup all right this was uh initially bought for the bamboo board i thought that the wood would look cool through it but that's why we have the clear grip so that is a choice I'm showing you guys what we got, you know, we're putting it all on the table or on the chairs and the table All right, then we've got some Some pow Standard, you know, pow grip checkerboard skull There he is, rip, pow ripper if you will 
Um, it's a little wide for all these boards, but man, we could rip it and make it work. Whatever you guys want. You get to vote. You get to tell me. All right. And last but not least, we've got this kitty cat. Kitty cat grip. Uh, throwing some throwing some birds up there, cats, birds, you know the deal. I've never skated this brand of uh, grip, but uh, man, that's pretty cool. And I, I, I liked it because again, there was no paint uh, up towards the nose, so I wasn't gonna lose any grip there. All right, so put that down. Quick, quick beer break. Everyone take a beer break. Everyone that's, everyone that's 21 and over, take a beer break. All right, so that's it. Go in the comments, or re, you know, rewatch the video if you need to. Go in the comments, what, what board you wanna see, what trucks do you wanna see on it, what wheels do you wanna see on it, and what grip. Do you want me to change out the bushings? Do you want me to add a riser? Um, let me know, like I'm gonna build this board based off the items that get the absolute most uh, comments. And again, my ideal setup is in this pile of stuff. And and the board I want to ride, which is not my ideal setup, is also in this pile of stuff. Uh, what am I currently riding, just for reference? This. I'm currently riding the 845 uh, Anderson with tensors and OJ 54 millimeter uh, mini combos or elite combo uh, combo elites so that's what I'm currently riding and I'm gonna ride this oh, excuse me until we set up uh, the A25 so I've never ridden tensors before I am liking them I'm really liking these uh, OJ wheels and just for reference for bearings I didn't put bearings out here because I normally ride Olympia ceramics for the most part. I used to ride Juju, Jason Park ceramics, but so they don't make them anymore. I do have one pair that I absolutely love. Uh, it's in one of my other setups. So that's it. Watch the video, gather your, your analysis, make your analysis, make your vote, and help me build my 2021 summer board ready to go for Go Skate Day. So going to cut off the vote on today's the 17th, so we'll say 18, 18 June, we're going to cut off the vote and I'm going to build the board. I'm going to skate it for Go Skate Day weekend and then I'll make a video and I'll share with you guys what you uh, what won and what the build was and what the first session was like. So thanks for being a part of the channel. Thanks for being awesome, supporting this old dude's uh, weak ass skateboarding. Again, if you want to watch awesome skateboarding, tons of great channels out there. Go check them out. Uh, this is just my adventure and I want you to be part of it, and this is how we're gonna do it. You're gonna help me build a board, and we're gonna we're gonna make a baby with the baby maker. All right, that's it. No editing. We're just we're just rolling with it. All right, go do something rad.